Okay, so this guitar has been needing some new strings and it's also pretty dusty. So we're gonna do a little like strings off and clean up. Um, first things first. Um, and once we're done restringing, I want to get like the amp going jam a little bit and then we'll, if we have time to work out like pedal board stuff. Watch your fingers, make sure they don't get, uh, make sure you don't poke them. Because it will draw blood. <laughs> um, and then to get it down back through the body, I'll usually clip them. That's the thing I like about bass is you only got <laughs> four of these to do. But guitar, you got six. Ow. Got myself already. I'm turning the air back on. Um, so if anybody's new watching, new to guitar playing, or maybe don't play guitar, what you gotta do first before you take the strings off is take the tension out, spin them down. That way when you, if you clip it, it won't spring back in your face or spring back on the body, scratch the guitar.
Now, I'm taking them all off at once. If you're doing like a quick restring and you're not polishing everything up, um, I know what some people do is they'll do one string at a time to maintain the tension on the neck. Uh, because right, right now, there's no tension on the neck. When the neck, the wood is used to having however many pounds of pressure on it. So if you can minimize that change in, in uh, pressure on it by just doing one string at a time, you know, you can do, some people do like to do it that way. But I'm taking them all off so I can get a good clean on. <laughs> good scrub. And actually, we'll probably put some wax on it. So I don't think I've ever waxed this guitar. Um, all right, don't lose these. Throw them away. <laughs> the, uh, clippings. That's what'll poke your hand. <laughs> Um, let's take these out. This is string through body. Come out the back here. Got these little ferrules. Some one more. There's a quick way to wrap your strings is like over twice and then tie it through nice and neat so when you throw it in the trash there's not they're not getting thrown everywhere um, and actually what I'll usually do is put it back in the new string package back in the trash uh, but I'll just throw these away They're metal, so I think you can recycle them. I don't know. I wonder if you can recycle them. I don't know. Uh, we're putting nines on. I feel like that's a good telly string gauge, nines, right? Try that out. I wonder if Siri knows. Hey Siri, can you recycle guitar strings? Okay, I found this on the web for recycle guitar strings. Check it out. Oh, it's talking about the Diodario. You can like send used guitar strings back in. Our guitar strings recycle. Them. Ah, not recyclable. Oh, I bet like the inside, maybe cloth or something. Okay, next step is take them out of the recycling and put them in the trash. If you're on Twitch or wherever, make sure to say hey in the chat. Next step, 
you can see how dusty this thing is. Uh, we're just gonna wipe it down with like a cloth first. It was like beard hairs and ugh, nasty. Let me find a cloth. Usually I would just polish this, but there's some major dust on here. So we're gonna just get that off first before we use a polish. Yuck. Housings, a heel. You know, all I'm going to do is take my watch off so I don't scratch the guitar. Now that that's good, let's just dry it off. I always wonder if the one person on Twitch is that my window I have open monitoring Twitch, or is that, uh, is somebody watching Twitch? I, I never know. <laughs> um, okay. Now let's polish. We're using the Dunlop 65. And with my polish rag. Start with that. tell somebody I bought this used somebody was wearing like a ring or something and must have like yeah done one of these like right on here scratched it <laughs> uh, 
And it doesn't have to be perfect because we... It's, when it gets restrung, it's just gonna get a whole new set of fingerprints, so... It's okay. Pickups. Oh. This one's a little loose. Water spots from earlier. <laughs> Dried. Alright, let me know in chat if you got any guitar questions, music questions. Fine. Front. Checking the light. Already looks way better. Um, fretboard. This is like, it's fine to use this on this kind of maple. I mean, maple fretboard. If you're using rosewood, you'd want to use like the lemon. Lemon oil. Just give them a little polish. It's actually not that dirty. I think when I bought it, I washed the fretboard. Yeah, it hasn't really seen much action, so there's not much finger grime on the. Uh, Fretboard, otherwise I really wouldn't use the same polished cloth. But I can tell just from looking at it, it's fine. Um, these frets are a little, a little foggy, but we're not going to polish frets today. Yeah, it's gonna be nice and smooth when we play later. Sides, just like this. People forget sides of guitars. <laughs> Don't forget. Now, 
now I'd like to do is wax it. Now what I've got is some, some Music Nomad guitar wax. I don't know. Um, but I've used this on some other guitars before. So little little's a lot. If you do thin multiple thin layers, that's better. Rather than just one big one. So what we'll do is just a little actually let me do the back first. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like waxing a car. Separate wax cloth. to spread it around, get a nice even coat, and then we'll uh, polish it off. So really not applying too much force here, just spreading it around, using the light to make sure I hit everything. And I'm just doing the uh, wood, not the chrome pieces. So now I'm just out. This stuff smells really good. It smells like bananas or something. Coconut, maybe. Awesome. You can really, like, feel... Oh, that feels... Compared to what it was, it feels amazing. Compared to that versus this. Yeah. Alright. Let's do another. We'll just maybe we'll do two. Two coats. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 8.03 p.m. Perfect. Okay, now that we've got it all spread around. Buff it out. Good. Ooh, that feels very nice. Try to break this clean corner. Okay. Happy with that. Now we'll do the front. Same, same process. Multiple light coats rather than just one big one. This is hard to judge. Like, okay. It's hard to squeeze out. Uh, 
Okay, spread it around, buff it out. I really should do this on my bases. It's been a minute since I've done that. Alright, looks amazing. Night and day. Okay, I think we're ready for coat number two. Ooh, don't let me forget to wash the, uh, the headstock. Polish it. Uh, okay. More wax. Does anybody have any tips? Any, I don't know. Am I doing it wrong? Do you have a better way? Okay. Um, since nobody's asking questions, maybe I'll ask myself some questions. Oh, what kind of guitar is it? Um, this is a PV Generation EXP. It's a Telecaster. Uh, toppy. But this is like a Nashville Tele where it's got the three pickups. Um, oh, why do they call it a Nashville Tele? So, my understanding is that players in Nashville, because they're gigging so much and it's like little bars and stuff, rather than carry two guitars, a, a telly and a strat, they would put take their telly and they put this middle pickup in. Um, so that gives you the ability to just more tonal options. And so I guess that caught on, or whatever, Fender maybe got word, or whatever. And they had the Nashville Tele. And then other, other companies, obviously, make their own versions. Um, That looks awesome, feels awesome, Whew, smells awesome too. Um, pretty happy. I mean, can you see? Let me do this. Just gonna get the light on. Now you can see on the pick guard there's some scratches, but that's what it's there for. But like, look how nice that finishes. Um, okay. Oh. Headstock, yeah. Fold this back up. Now I keep in these bags so I don't get any like, metal shavings or metal on them. Cause that's I've done that before. Grab a cloth that has some like steel wool, like fret, which you use on frets. Right on your guitar. Nasty swirls. Luckily, it wasn't on a very expensive guitar. But you only do that once. <laughs> and then you know.
course, we're about to put a whole new set of fingerprints on it, but that's okay. It's hard to tell in this light. Tuning knobs. Little kidney beans. I like this style of tuner. It's the little kidney beans, but it's got the string through the the hole. It's not it's vintage looking, but not actual vintage um, the split split post like you see on a bass. I have one one guitar that has the split uh, tuning posts, and it's um, a pain to restring. I hate 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 it. Bass isn't so bad because the strings are so big, but it's the little, once you get up to the G, B, and E strings, it's like, uh, impossible. All right, let's, um, let's restring. Nines, super slinky. I don't know what we're on here before. That is a good question. I should have measured it before it took them off. I guess I could dig them out of the trash. But. There you go, super slinky. Ready? Uh, name off some. Like Joe Armstrong. Uh, Mark Hoppus, Blink 182. Uh, I thought I saw Tom DeLong on here. Yellow card, system of a down. Um, Tom DeLong. Listed separately from Blink 182. <laughs> Which is funny. Uh, they do like, they got classic rock all the top. Getting into like, I guess, alternative. St. Vincent, Nine Inch Nails, Tool, Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, going down. Oh, Newfound Glory's on here. Um, and they get some like Florida Georgia line, Georgia line. I don't even know. Like these people must be country people. Tommy Emmanuel must be a country person. Don't know. Ooh, Walk the Moon. Ooh, maybe we should play that. Um, Alright. Let's crack it open. Same thing with the with the Facebook views. I always assume that when it registers a view, it's somebody just like scrolling by like in their feed. Be a string eater. Interesting. This is, I haven't seen this answer. Oh yeah. See here, they, they're showing you the slotted, <laughs> slotted tuner on the bottom. Hate that. Um, this is good. This is good for somebody who like doesn't know what they're doing, they open the string pack and it's right there. Huh. Alright, um, I gotta do it, I can't like string it that way, I gotta do it like this. Now, let's start with O, E. Careful when you're opening these because they can pop out. One thing to be careful of that I've seen happen before is um, opening up a new string pack, or even when you take off the old strings, is watch out for electrical outlets on the ground or uh, like in the wall. So I've seen a string go in and pop. <laughs> oh, 
heads up. So, let's see what you want to do. What I what I do, um, hold it at the peg, and I usually grab it at the nut, and I'll do like one, two, three, and then clip this in. Actually, what you can do is, actually, it's it's not a big deal on. Um, I'm so used to doing this on bass. <laughs> It's actually on, on these tuners, you can just put it right through. Um, on the slotted tuners, you got to do that and then clip it, and put it in. But with the holes, it's it's not a. Um, you don't have to do that. All right, where's my peg winder? Actually, wait. I think I do want to do one. I don't know. It's it has been a minute since I've restrung a guitar. Let's see. Uh, what we're trying to do is get enough wraps around the peg here. Not too much, but not too little. So, I think I want to do like one more. So yeah, let's do, let's pull back two frets. Just like riding a bike. You know what, now it's going to be like too much. Ugh, should have done like one and like a half. Really bung in this up.
Uh, not very pretty, but it's just the first one. Um, Alright, let's clip this. Here. I guess this is one of those things if you don't do it all the time, it's especially on kept on this guitar. So this one's going to be much better. Headliner. Yeah, it's important to hold these tight uh, when you wind it up. And now don't forget about the um, string tree now, uh, now that we're getting into the higher strings. On to the G string. This is a plain G string. You can get these wound as well. Um, 
Oh, what do I mean by <laughs> clean versus wound? So these bottom three strings, uh, the way they're made is like a core, and then there's it's wrapped around a core. This is just plain a plain string. No core, nothing wrapped around it. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 8.26 p.m. Okay. Yeah. Almost done. I'll do a quick little jam. Don't think we'll get to pedal board today. But that could be fun for next time. Try and get when we do the pedal board, like a pedal board cam or something. Dang it. Should not wound up. itself towards the end here. Just something group. Rock strip tree. Let's go. Let's clip this. You don't want to clip it too close to the to the hole, but I don't I don't like to leave all the extra stuff hanging around. What I think do is tweet tweet this out. like a bot. Two, judging by that first string we did, uh, two was too much. One, not enough. And we'll remember that on this guitar next time. Oh, you can tell. I'm just now noticing somebody whacks the this tuner against the wall, it's facing back in this way. Okay. Ow. Hope to myself when it ends.
this more. Um, last string, the high E. See when I turn, how much it moves. It's like that's okay. This makes it impossible to use the. One more string. One more string. Okay. There we go. Flip it. Boom. So because the strings are new, they're going to be stretching out a bit as we tune it back up the pitch. Same thing with the neck, you don't want to just um, put all that tension back on, it's kind of got to go on slowly, otherwise it'll, it'll crack. I'm just tuning by ear right now. We'll break out the tuner in a sec.
Yeah, already they're sucked back out. Uh, one thing you can do is just pull them a little bit, get them to stretch back out. Not too hard, but. Um, all right, let's. I got the tuner. Um, sit down, grab a tuna. Tuner, feather. <laughs> Tune up. Hello, camera. Pretty close. Almost there. Once you've tuned through, it's a good idea to go back one more time because you've added more tension back on the neck. tuned up, new strings, polished, waxed, looking good. <laughs> 